The Metro hot tub business finds itself in hot water after being shut down by the state for an unpaid bill. Now customers who paid for merchandise are asking a lot of questions. They called our Keith King's call for action. Here outside Spa Heaven in Miriam, we find this open for business sign on, but the front door is locked. This sign shows that it's been seized and shut down by the state of Kansas. The seized sign went up last week, put there by the Kansas Department of Revenue when owners failed to pay the back taxes. You know, it's in pretty good shape. George Shurgan needed to replace his hot tub following the cold winter. He went to Spa Heaven and paid more than 6200 bucks for a new one. He paid cash to get a discount. Well, it's a little scary. Yeah, it's a little scary. It was supposed to be delivered late last week. That didn't happen. So Shurgan went to the store and found this. And that's, of course, then when I called the state and I started calling other people, I contacted you. Uh, just trying to find out, you know, what we had as rights and what we could do. Spa Heaven's website still operates, calling itself the area's premier dealer since 85. In 2006, fire ripped through Spa Heaven, causing $700,000 in damages. Owner Bill Carter spoke with us about it. To see your business all engulfed in flames, it looked like it's going to be a total loss then. Uh, it was a real heartbreaker. When reached by phone today, Carter's wife says Bill has been sick due to cancer. She calls the state's action unexpected and adds, we're not going to turn our backs on our customers. Always believe in God will work out all the good things for those that trust in him. And I just to this point still believe that it's going to work out somehow. The owners tell me the Shurgan's new spies at the manufacturers waiting to be shipped. The Department of Revenue is closed due to the holiday. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.